So here we go. Jenna. To solve this problem, all I want you guys to do is a couple things to remember. When you're solving a multi-step inequality, you want to make sure, Tristan, that you remember the distributive property. Whenever you have a number outside of your parentheses, and it's being multiplied by a parentheses, you need to make sure, Kenneth, that your number is multiplying to every term inside your parentheses. So therefore, I have 4 times 8, which is 32. 4 times negative 2b is going to be a negative 8b minus 2b less than or equal to 32. Now remember, guys, when we're solving, when we're solving inequalities, you're solving for one variable. Right now, I have two of the variables. I have a negative 8b and I have a negative 2b. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to combine these so I can get it down to one variable. So if I have negative 8b minus 2b, that's going to give me a negative 10b. Okay? Very lucky about saying your name. All right. So you have 32 minus 10b is less than or equal to 32. Now what we need to do is just use our use our um, use our properties of inequalities or properties of uh, yeah, inequality to solve for b. I subtract 32 on both sides. Therefore, I have a negative 10b is less than or equal to zero. Then to get our b right, we need to solve for one single number. So I say negative 10 is multiplied by b. To undo that, I divide by negative 10. And the most important thing you guys need to remember is whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, we trip the sign. What do we do? Flip it. We flip the sign. Thank you. We, we trip. How do you trip? So that's what, uh, exactly my point. So you now need to make sure the sign is the other direction. So now to graph this. We go to zero. And let's just do I'll just make it easy. Can those just be random numbers? Well, they got to be in order, like a number line. Um, but where you start can be kind of randomly put. You want to make sure you start where you're kind of when you're determining. You so I go B is greater than or equal to zero. You got so I make a nice big circle. John, is there a problem? No. Because right, I already asked you once to take take it out, so if you could please go ahead and do that for me. <laughs> and then John, I'm also shooting so a video, so I don't really need interruption by you talking across the room. Okay? So, we have B is greater than or equal to zero. Then the next thing I need to do, guys, is remember whenever it's greater than or equal to, we can shade it in. Because if I plug in zero, zero greater or equal to zero, that's true, right? Because zero is equal to zero. Then just pick your two points. Which one makes sense? Say it out loud, helps you out. Is negative 2 greater than or equal to 0? No, it's false. Is 2 greater than or equal to 0? Yeah, that's true. We always shade where it's true. Because what that means is all the points that are to the right of 0 are going to make your inequality true. Okay? That's how you do that. Um, next.